Getting a divorce in Vermont is actually simpler than you might think. Either spouse must reside in Vermont for at least six months before filing. Additionally, either spouse must be a resident for one year before the divorce is finalized. In child custody cases, there is a six-month waiting period after the papers have been served before any hearing. The divorce may be filed in any county where a spouse resides. Once the residency requirement is completed, a legal grounds for a divorce must be established. Both general and no-fault divorce are acceptable grounds for divorce. The no-fault reason is living separate and apart without cohabitation for six consecutive months and the resumption of marital relations is not reasonably probable. The general reasons are adultery, imprisonment for three years or more or for life, willful desertion for seven years, cruel and inhuman treatment of intolerable severity, incurable mental illness, and gross neglect. Joint or sole child custody may be awarded based on the best interests of the child and on the wishes of the parents, the child's adjustment to his or her home, school, and community, the relationship of the child with parents, siblings, and other significant family members, the ability and disposition of each parent to provide love, affection, and guidance, the ability of each parent to provide food, clothing, medical care, other material needs, and a safe environment, the ability of each parent to meet the child's present and future developmental needs, the ability and disposition of each parent to foster a positive relationship and frequent and continuing contact with the other parent, including physical contact, unless it will result in harm to the child or parent. The quality of the child's relationship with the primary care provider, given the child's age and development, and the ability and disposition of the parents to communicate, cooperate with each other, and make joint decisions concerning the children where parental rights and responsibilities are to be shared. Neither parent is favored to have custody. No preference is based on the parent's sex. Either or both of the parents may be required to pay child support based on the financial resources of the child, the standard of living the child would have enjoyed if the marriage had not been dissolved, the physical and emotional conditions and educational needs of the child, the financial resources, needs, and obligations of both the non-custodial and the custodial parent, inflation with relation to the cost of living, the cost of any educational needs of either parent, any travel expenses related to parent-child contact, and any other relevant factors. Health insurance may be ordered for the child. The court may require security or wage withholding. All child support must be subjected to a wage assignment in case of delinquency and require the payments made through the registry in the Office of Child Support, unless exempt. Official child support guidelines are available and presumed correct from the Vermont Department of Human Services, unless they are shown to be unfair under the circumstances. There is an official child support computation worksheet available. Vermont is an equitable distribution state. All property is subject to division equitably. Considerations are the contribution of each spouse to the acquisition of the property, including the contribution of each spouse as homemaker, the value of each spouse's property, the length of the marriage, the age and health of the spouses, the occupation of the spouses, the amount and sources of income of the spouses, the vocational skills of the spouses, the employability of the spouses, the liabilities and needs of each spouse and the opportunity of each for further acquisition of capital assets and income, whether the property award is instead of or in addition to maintenance, how and by whom the property was acquired, the merits of each spouse, the burdens imposed upon either spouse for the benefit of the children, any custodial provisions for the children, including the desirability of awarding the family home to the parent with custody of any children, the conduct of the spouses during the marriage, and the contribution by one spouse to the education, training, or increased earning power of the other. Either spouse may be ordered to pay alimony regardless of marital fault. The maintenance may be temporary or permanent and will be awarded if the court finds that the recipient lacks sufficient income or property to provide for his or her reasonable needs and is unable to support himself or herself through appropriate employment at the standard of living established during the marriage and is the custodian of any children. Considered are the time necessary to acquire sufficient education and training to enable the spouse to find appropriate employment and that spouse's future earning capacity, the standard of living established during the marriage, the duration of the marriage, 
the ability of the spouse from whom support is sought to meet his or her needs while meeting those of the spouse seeking support. The financial resources of the spouse seeking maintenance, including property apportioned to such spouse and such spouse's ability to meet his or her needs independently. The age of the spouses, the physical and emotional conditions of the spouses, and the effects of inflation on the cost of living. The court may require security for any maintenance payments. If one spouse denies living apart for the required period, the court may delay the proceedings for 30 to 60 days and suggest counseling. Visit us today at www.mydivorcepapers.com and click on Vermont at the bottom of the page. Let mydivorcepapers.com help you file for divorce today.